Welcome back to make way for Cat. All right, it has been a while since I've played Palea, but the Christmas stuff is out. There's a new temple. Um, but this UI looks a little different. Let me get rid of these quests. Um, I'm not going to worry about, yeah, the Watcher quests. Needs a lot of the flow wood that I just don't, don't have. Um, okay. The new... I think this is it. Look to the sky. Oh, here's Zeki. I'm not getting any younger here. Um, if you're selling a flow battery... Well, ain't this ironic. My problem suddenly sounds like a your problem, too. See, the Magistrate just confiscated a single item from my stocks, and I bet you can guess which item. Uh, is that legal? Well, now you're asking the right questions. Is his outfit different? He looks a little festive. I don't remember him wearing green before. His little top hat. See, it's legal for me to possess that flow battery. It just ain't legal for me to sell it to a Majiri. And since she took it before I could sell it, well, I was doing nothing wrong. As she's a smart lady, she knows she ain't got a leg to stand on, but now the thing's tied up in paperwork and petitions. She's trying to wear me down with bureaucracy. It could be months, maybe years, before I get that battery back. Which means years until you can pluck it from my paws for a pretty price. Unless... Heist time. Please say it's heist time. You read my mind, pal. Look, she seized it illegally, so it's only fair play we seize it back. You help me out, and I'll give you the battery for free. After all, getting one over on Eshi is worth a hundred of those things. Um, Sounds like fun. Oh, it is. Heists are like a national pastime for my people. Never had a boring one. Oh, here's the plan. Eshi's almost certainly locked up the battery somewhere in City Hall, but I have it on good authority she keeps the master key on her person at all times. It just so happens that her and Kenley's anniversary party is tonight, and the whole village is invited. So you and I will be attending this party. When the time's right, you start a distraction, and I'll swipe the key when she's not looking. Easier than taking milk from a kitten. Which I would never do, by the way. I ain't a monster. Um, sounds solid. I always deliver. You just stick to the plan and we're golden. Meet me tonight, and we'll get this party started, huh? And if you're going to be late, make sure it's fashionable. Do I know about the order? All right. Take it easy, but not too easy. Now I want to look for the Christmas decorations. How much money do I have? Don't crash on me, please. All right, I'm not going to look at the menu yet. Getting choppy. Oh, I'm, I just realized there's snow piles everywhere. Okay, so the last shop was back here. Aha! What do we got? 29,000. Great. Uh, winter lights, fall leaves. Okay. Leaf pile. Can I get a tree? Ooh, a winter lights charcuterie. Absolutely. Well, my uh, inventory is pretty full. Presents. Present. Present. Okay, but there's no Christmas tree here. Or a winter lights tree, I should say. Oh, look at these toys. Tell me there's more to this festival than just this. Mm. Alright, let's head back home. Drop off m my stacked inventory. And then we'll talk to Zeki. Yeah, it'll be in the window 6pm to 12.
Oh, I still have Halloween stuff up. We're going to need to redecorate. I made that. Well, I guess I'm going to keep it. Throw that in here for now. Um, all right. I think we're okay here. Whew. Okay, Kaleri needs me... For something, burn this after reading. Okay. Eloisa, if Kaleri sends you a letter, ignore it and come to me. Um, I believe I actually spoke to them already. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Anar, have you noticed the decreased temperature in the environment? Seeing the solidified water in the ground? It is time for the annual tradition that the Paleans refer to as winter lights. During winter lights, people introduce marginally more light in the darkest time of the year by lighting wax sticks in their home. I have been informed that this tradition is not only about providing additional lighting sources, but also about spending time with those beings you view as familiar, familial or otherwise friendly relations. As your Shep, it is my duty to provide you with a wax stick. Please ignite it with your acquaintances as you see fit. Postscript, I remember humans enjoyed taking a tree from outside and placing adornments on it during frost-tide season. So I sent you a tree. Perhaps those uh, you give west wax sticks to could provide the adornments as a form of reciprocation. Ah, uh, I knew I picked the right Shep. Zeki. Hiya, pal. Have a wonderful winter lights and all that. Save you some time. There's no seasonal discount here. Instead, I've devised a cunning challenge to celebrate the holiday Grimalkin style. I had seven gifts around the village for you to steal. See, where I'm from, we don't just give away presents. We steal them from each other. I tried not to make it too hard for you since it's your first year and all. I didn't even booby trap them or nothing, at least not on purpose. One is having a barrel of laughs at the inn. Two is milling about in the wind near my house. Three is under a bridge near a watery ridge. I'm going to actually just take a picture of this on my phone. So I can reference it. Even if it does go to the quest log. But if it doesn't, then I want to be... There we go. Have that up. Awesome. Um, It's 7 o'clock. Let's go do the the theft thing. Actually, apparently Zeki's just having me steal everything. Oh, wow. Twenty-four candles with all twenty-four villagers. Are you in need of sustenance? Um, want to light a candle with me? I can't say I am familiar with winter lights as the Majiri celebrate. I only hope for the oneness that comes from caring for Gina. But I did get you a frost hide adornment. Please hang it on your frost hide tree and think of me and my Gina. Oh, adorable! Alright, okay, we'll come back to that. Alright, Zeki. He's in the inn. First one's in a barrel near the inn, or barrel in the inn. The barrel. Hey! Okay. Jump puzzle? I'm 
not getting any younger here. All right. Low battery. Uh, yeah. See you around. Okay. Look for a way to distract Eshi. As long as you do your best, that's good enough. Goodbye. <laughs> Enjoy the party. At least one of us has to. It is your party. What they call science is really just logical lies. Silverwing song can turn any listener straight into a toad. Um, I could use your help. Really, whatever with. I see. Well, it just so happens that I have the perfect distraction right here. A sachet of hiccup powder. I keep it on me at all times in case I am accosted by a gillyfoot. I knew she's like the right person all the time. Sprinkle this into the soup and you're sure to have your distraction. Luckily, I'm more of a salad woman myself. I'm close to uncovering something important. I can feel it. Oh, that looks like a fireworks. Uh, let's see. Kenyatta. Oh, she's good for distraction, too. Um, I know a way to spice things up. Yeah, what have you got in mind? Well, I saw some fireworks. Oh, man. Yes. Here, take these matches and make something happen tonight, okay? So we could do the fireworks. We could do the soup. Well, I don't see the soup. I don't know where the soup is, but I see where the firework is. There's the soup. I'm not gonna eat it. <gasps> hey, it's my man. What inspires you? I wonder if I shall ever throw an anniversary party of my own. Try not to be a stranger. Hmm. One day, Jill, one day. Open store? So may as well help. I'm not here to socialize. Try not to cause any trouble. Oh, it's his store. Oh, flare arrow. Okay, I set off the firework. Is that not enough? Always nice to see you around. Can't wait to chat again. Huh. Come to hear me talk? Hmm. <laughs> Look, I'm no snitch. Be careful how involved you get with Zeki, okay? Can't talk more right now. For reasons. I need a thing. I need a thing from Zeki. Uh Anyada's good for it. Eloisa's good. Now if we can find Oh, the little girl. I can't remember her name. Well, there's Zeki. Anything fun going on? Let me guess, the explosions were you're doing? Oh. Got the key right here. Come on, let's get out of here. I know exactly where she's keeping the battery. If you've got anything that could be interpreted as evidence of our little escapade, I'll be taking that too for our safety, you know? I'll grab the battery and meet you back at, at your plot. Take it easy. Oh, okay, so that was it. So we basically confiscated any quest items I had. Anything fun going on? Pleasure doing business with you. I'll see you at the temple. Um, so by free battery, you mean not free. Now you're getting it. See, this is why I like you, cat. Always reading between the lines. The way I see it is, I did all the work to procure this little battery, and then half the work to reprocure. I'd say that warrants me a little access, don't it? And really, a big temple like that's a cultural resource. It belongs to all of us. So, see you there. Don't be late. I don't care if he comes. Ah, that's enough dilly-dallying for me. Oh. No, I'm trying to eat it. Did I forget how to eat food? I just sworn I just clicked it.
There we go. Okay. I saw some notes. Ooh. Excellent. Wallpaper gifts and snowballs. I guess there's snowball fighting going on. Okay. Let's get some snowballs, not snowballs, the candles from people, and then try to get that present from top of the inn. He also said on the winds behind his shop, or near his shop. If this is his shop, up there, that does look like wind. I'm thinking that's it. Anyway. What do we got? Now you give me a holler if you ever need milk okay. or a cup of candle with me? Seeing you with this candle warms more than just me heart. It also warms me hearth. It warms my heart. Cool. Got another one. Inventory full. Oh, inventory full again? Oh, the snowballs didn't stack. Oh, the winter lights ornament. Cute. And then that one. Okay. Shoot. We gotta go back to the house. That seems a bit silly. 100 snowballs. They don't stack. Oh, that is taking inventory space. Yikes. Alright, let's set up our tree real quick then. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. Gorgeous. Where else did I put it? Here we go. Actually looks really nice over here, but just stick to this room. Um, how did I pick up stuff again? Here we go. Pick up. Alright, we are done with Halloween. And then where am I gonna put my tree? Probably in this corner here. Perfect. Oh, you can decorate it! Oh, that is the most adorable thing. Let's put this candle here with the others. I light it? No, okay, we'll call that good. And then we got another one here. That is so cool. Let's put our gifts under the tree.
Now you can't really stack them under the tree. Maybe I'll just stack them against the window, but not right now. Let me try this one. Ooh. I just like that wallpaper. Nice. All right. All right, pumpkins. Sorry. It's time to go. Right, at least that counts as decor. Oh, let's sell that. Yeah, two is milling about in the wind near my house. In the wind near my house. Oh, Zeki's house, not his shop, his house. Three is under a bridge near a watery ridge. Four is a watching the Omu clip clopping. Five is watching the boathouse from the cliff, cliff up high. Six is teetering close to a watery swim. Seven is in a big pile. Find it and win. Okay. Here to cause some trouble. Handle. Uh -huh. It's been a minute since I've seen one of those. Hassi intends to light his with Tao. Honestly, I don't really have many hopes for the future. I just tend to take things day by day. And today, well, I focused on making these bad boys for all the humans in the village. I heard about your trees and I just couldn't help myself. See you later. Very cool. I gotta find Gel. Is he out walking his moonlight stroll? He is. I haven't spoken to my future husband yet, except for the party. I don't think counts. And Anar, we need to pay Anar a visit. Hi. Oh, in our home already. Our chats always leave me inspired. Uh, want to light a candle with me? Uh -huh. Of course I'll light a candle with you. After all, it's in season to celebrate the season. My wishes for next year are to join my family line and to quell the never-ending feeling of longing that hides beneath my bosom. Perhaps you have some idea. Oh, it's okay. It's like a gold ball. Have some ideas of how I could accomplish that second part. Hmm. Flirt with gel. My day was dull until you came around, cat. Um, there we go. That with gel. Are you an artist? I write. I can't say I have a way with words. I'm more of a visual artist, but I do enjoy some pretty good poetry if you ever wish to recite some of yours. I hope you've been inspired. <gasps> Loxley! Hey! Uh, I forgot how to wave. Um, L, no, T, there it is, I accidentally hit it. Anar is not here, oh, no, not an actual present, okay, speaking of, while we wait for daybreak, let's go try to get that present off the inn. Or if we run into more people.
trying to figure out where I can get higher ground here. Maybe through the windows? Log right on to the... Let's try that. Have a moment. Ah. A candle. Nice. Oh, a bell ornament. I'll save you a seat by the hearth. Okay. Yes. That was it. Oh, it's a festive chest. I love it. We got a wreath. I can't go up any further. Yeah, it's like not letting me. Okay, so that's number one. Milling about the wind near my house. Zeki's house is... Well, I guess he's going there now. He lives up here. We could light a candle for Zeki. With Zeki, too. All right. stuff. Okay. Want to light a candle? Sure, but instead of telling you my hopes and dreams, I'm going to tell you about a special Grimalkin tradition. During winter lights, all the kittens hang up socks by the fire filled with toys in hopes of luring Sandy Paws, the winter lights pirate. Oh, I love it. Sandy Paws will come in and try to steal the goodies in the stockings, but the kittens will have prepared the room with booby traps beforehand. The kids who succeed are able to steal toys and candies from the fat old cat and those who can't, well, they get stolen from. I know you're not a kitten, but here's some place to hang your socks in case you want to try and entice old Sandy Paws yourself. I absolutely Remember, would. Zeki's prices can't be beat. Oh, okay, there's a windmill next to Zeki's house. Is this Zeki's house? Aha! That is number two. Got it. Oh, trinket decor! This is adorable. Okay, three is under a bridge near a watery ridge. Alright, we're checking bridges. Is there a bridge up here? Yeah. So we'll start up here and work our way down. Oh, look at all that holiday decor. Adorable. Oh, was that the bridge? Here. Under a bridge. We can't go under that bridge, so... Not that one. Behind me. I don't see anything under here. No. Okay. Not that one. Another one here. Oh, that's just a little. This right here was the bridge I was first thinking of. Aha! Excellent. Is that a rug? Oh, a plate. Nice. Okay. We got the bridge. Or is watching the Ormu clip clopping so that the farm is over here.
perform a quick clapping. Not up here. Well, okay. Okay, we can just jump and loot it. Silver plate. I just love that I'm getting a bunch of these holiday chests, too. Okay, we got that. Five is watching the boathouse from a cliff up high. The boathouse. Would that be the Fisherman's Lagoon? Maybe over here? We got to go pay a visit to Anar anyway. Hey, what's poppin'? <laughs> Candle. We got a wood ornament. Watch out for those pesky choppers. <laughs> what's the last one here? Six is teetering close to a watery swim. Ah, that one's a tough... Uh, it's kind of generic. Alright. Oh, here's an up high. There's the... kind of the boathouse. Maybe over there? And number seven's in a big pile. That one's going to be the, probably the toughest of them all. Watching the boathouse from a cliff up high. I feel like this would be perfect. Is that not the boathouse? All right, let's head over to the Fisherman's Lagoon. Oh, I see it. Aha. Winter Lights coat rack. Drink close to a watery swim. Seven is in a big pile. Find it and win. Those are our last two. Teetering close to a watery swim. It sounds like some kind of cliff edge near water. Which is not that helpful. Oh, maybe up on a rock or something out in the water? Let's come around here. Eatering close to a watery swim. This is the closest to the water, I think. And get. Hmm. say who it just tells you the kind of ornament that it is okay well the gold ball is from gel so that's definitely going to go on the tree 
Let us engage in the act of luring in fish together. I see you've brought me a wax stick. I believe it is customary to express one's desires for the following annual cycle while lighting such a wax stick. Let us see. I desire... Okay, a wood ornament from him. To continue fishing and for you to enjoy this beautiful adornment. I shall regale you with my fishing experience. You're the best, Anar. Kyle? Leaf piles and or snow piles. Can't really do anything with the piles, can we? More candles. Return home to see what happens next. I was hoping to talk to you today. Um. Uh -huh. See you later, Kay. I want to get everybody then before I go back home. Ish, you here? I have that already. Library, okay. The books here have stood the test of time. At least try to be more respectful of my time. <laughs> I just run away as she's still talking. Okay. Eshi, there's Tish. On here, looks like she's asleep, Kenyatta. Yeah, I don't know what this pile thing is going to be. Or how it... Let me read that again. Seven is in a big pile. Find it and win. Okay, so we're looking for a big pile too, I guess. Not that I entirely know what that's going to mean. This way. I'm glad you came to the valley. Handle. Make more super great friends like you. There's another like bell. Ta -ta. A magistrate is always light a candle. I don't light a winter lights candle with just anyone. But since you were brave enough to ask, I suppose I'll let you know that my hopes for next year are simple. I pray for things to calm down in our fair village. Let's just say in the past year, I've learned why the phrase, may you live in interesting times, is a curse withheld only for the worst enemies. Okay, and we got another bell. Try not to be so bold next time. Here's more water. Present could be teetering anywhere. I'm guessing it's not going to be a bridge because we've already gotten one from a bridge. My guess is it's like a rock. It's like sitting on a rock. Or like a, a wood piece like that in there. Oh. 
Oh. Didn't know I could go in here. So cute. I like that pink wallpaper. And the bookcase. Adorable. Anything I can get in here? No recipe cards or anything? In a big pile. Oh, maybe like a pile of rubble? This isn't really a pile of rubble. Okay. Let's go up here. We'll grab Nayo and Eloisa. Welcome to the village. Yes. Huh. <laughs> if you want to learn about farming, ask my dad. He was so excited. All right, she's still up here. Yeah. Solve a mystery. And oh, also excited. <laughs> she hopes the snowy skitters don't eat my soul. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think there's some rubble piles out here. Not sure if these count as piles, but let's take a look. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Okay, maybe in here? Oh, Gina's here. Grab Gina's. <laughs> here to distract me from that breakdown I'm about to have. <laughs> Uh, maybe later? Um... Oh no, that means they'll investigate me too. I wanna light the candle with me. 
I just want to help the humans. Aw. Thank you. Alright, I'm not seeing any precarious boxes. And where do you got one under this tree or under this bridge? We haven't really found anything out this way, so maybe we let's investigate this way. There's more people over here. Technically, it's stone piles here. There's some stones here. I'll, I'll stick the higher ground here. <laughs> More rock piles, no chest. I love the, the moonwalking Cernuck. I hope they never patch that. <laughs> Ooh, something is going on. Where the dig pile is today. What? Uh, press enter to chat. On the big hill south of the farm. What is a dig pile? south of the farm up here let's go take a look at that 
Maybe that is a pile we are interested in. giving a second look down here for teetering water chests. Ugh, I am getting over a cold, so my my voice keeps going in and out here. And if I'm quiet for a while, it's because I have my mic muted as I'm coughing. <clears throat> I feel like the coughing this season is really bad. There it is! Aha! We've got a teetering. Nice. Oh, look at that wreath. It's cute! Okay, let's see if we can find the pile. Still south of the farm. That's this in front of me. Oh, isn't that where we were? That's where we got the one that was up on the cliff. Still missing eight people. See anything that looks like a dig pile? Uh, wait. What is that? A chopper rug. Cool. Okay, that's not the pile from. Oh, maybe it is. Snowy chopper rug. Maybe that is the last prize. That was a pile. Okay. Let's grab... We'll grab chain. building. Maji appreciates your devotion. Hey. Um how do you feel about your impending encounter with a member of the order? And wait and see. Okay, light a candle. Of course I'll light a candle with you. I hope that the dragon brings you and yours a joy joyous winter lights. I truly treasure your friendship. Small wish. Read. Um, Najuma came to see me today. She made some improvements to her father's outdoor grill. However, oh, this is the steak one, huh? I think I've done that one before. Okay, who else is down this way? These three.
All right, want to light a candle with me? Don't tell anyone because I know it's totally basic, but I love winter lights, the food, the decorations, the stories, everything. But my favorite thing is lighting the candle and sharing my hopes. Let's see, what should I share? I think I'll keep my hopes a secret. A girl's got to keep some mystery, right? Time. Bye. Oh, wait, her father. You do your best. That's good enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oodaloo. We got five more people. Okay, there was Asian. Oh, and Tao? What do you need now? Huh? You sure do talk a lot. Now, light a candle with me, boy. Oh, and I got a gold ball from him. Oh, okay. All right, we need what? Three more people? That's going to be. I can think of two. They're in the other area. Let's see. Got them here. Gina Kenley. Najuma, I haven't gotten. Oh, it's flagged actually. Oh, Najuma and Tamala. Just two. I wonder if that's for the um, member of the order who I haven't actually met yet. Um. I think I'm gonna call it. We'll we'll just stick with who we've got so far. Yeah. Let's go home and see what happens. And then we'll decorate the house with the stuff I got. Oh, no, don't crash, don't crash. Whew. Einar! I assume fishing is also your. Tell me, did you derive enjoyment from handing out wax sticks? So much enjoyment. That is joyous to hear. Perchance you would like to spread that enjoyment by lighting a wax stick in my presence. 100%. Joyous. We shall now engage in sharing of future desires. I want to solve the mystery of my existence. I just want to chill. Let's solve the mystery. Your existence is not a mystery any more than other existence. Your existence simply is. Since you found igniting the wax stick enjoyable, why not take the recipe for this larger wax stick? I predict you will find it three times as enjoyable. I shall now return to my contemplations. May you have many happy frost tidings. Wow. Back to my meditation. I love Anar. I made the right call picking him for a chef. Chef. I said chef. <laughs> okay. Got furniture. Actually, first, let's see what we have. Oh, we did get the antler mount. I can't get rid of that. Okay. Let's see if there's any new items. I know I just got a bunch of craftables, but I... Oh, we can craft more gold plates. To set the table. Craft more sticks. The ornaments. The snowy chopper rug is adorable. Okay, so I do have all of these... All right, let's let's get decorating. Um Oh, 
Oh, that's the mud pie. Yeah, let's move the mud pie to the kitchen. And we'll do... Oh, this wreath. Really nice. Uh, mittens. We'll put those. Mittens, not mittens. They are... I was thinking of kittens and the kittens who lost their mittens for some reason. But yes, the kittens hang that. Stockings. Stockings should go by the fireplace. I can't fit them there. So let's just do them... Here? I really like the gold plates. is more of a wintry wreath. Hang there. The charcuterie. Oh, you know what? Mmm... that there and then wow this thing's huge maybe in the kitchen oh pick that up and put this up might keep that up all year round that's cool we need to fix that uh wall there Hold on. Oh, those spooky candles. Charcuterie in the center. Keep them like that. Ah, oh, they're silver candles. But I like the gold plates. Uh, let's see what the silver plate looks like. Yeah, let's just do one of each and then flip them on the other side. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I picked up a bunch of those. And then can we make another candlestick? Yep. Oop. At the table. I just love that these plates have stars on them. That's cool. Alright, these are technically the spooky candles, so we'll pick those up and move this guy to the center. Okay. Let's finish decorating our Christmas tree. Alright, the gold... Bell. Do another gold bobble. Do candle there and a candle there. Let's put one back here.
bell here. This Christmas decorating thing with the ornaments is like the coolest. Oh, can I put the... I can set them out. <laughs> Candles, anyway. Doesn't look like I can set that anywhere. Looks like I've got a lot of bells on the tree, but that's okay. Nice festive chest. Oh. Stack of presents. These look a little bit awkward around the tree. I like that. I like that. Maybe let's put another one next to the fireplace. Please. That sticks out a bit, but we'll go with it. And we'll just put that back there. Very nice. Very nice. Festive. Gorgeous. I dig it. I think that rug is a keeper all year round. Ooh. Still got a while to go for all my achievements here. But yeah. Alright. I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. And when I come back, we are doing some Air Temple. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.